Yes, today was leg day. Shut up. So Amir Van is making music again, and he uh, announced an Emmanuel EP that should be dropping, I believe, sometime next week, maybe earlier. Uh, I know people have linked me. They've already said, you know, they've heard it. They've heard this. They've heard that. Uh, me personally, I'm going to wait till the release day. Uh, I do want to hear it organically, naturally. This is one of those moments where I have been uh, anticipating an Amir Van, not really response, but some kind of update since he uh, departed from the group, I believe May of last year. And I can see people having issues with him making music. I can see people having issues with him doing literally anything, even existing as, as a lot of people have an issue with him doing anything because of what happened between himself and Brockhampton last year and the uh, people that they feel he affected. Now, I can't speak to the subjective lens that people are gonna look through when it comes to the abuse allegations. I really can't speak to that. There hasn't been any legal forwarding in any of that, so I can't really go off of anything other than it just being an allegation right now. He has admitted to being sorry, but I can't say if it was specifically that. One thing we do know that is confirmed is having Dom's friend Rob, excluding the fact that we've listened to artists talk about how many people they've had robbed and robbed themselves in their own music and not had really any issue with, I can understand why people would have somewhat of an issue with him doing what he did because it feels like a betrayal to his brotherhood, it feels like a betrayal to his best friends, and Brockhampton stands having such a close connection, a close tie to the music that they were putting out, even with Amir at the time, could feel like a massive betrayal to them as well, I get that. So in that, a lot of people feel as though he should make some type of public response or some kind of apology, uh, insinuating there might be this massive metaphorical stand that he might hop on and just uh, express everything that he's reluctant about, express everything that he's regretful about, everything that he's sorry for. I do have to admit that Brock Hampton, they did reply to everything and, and, and kind of express the pitfalls of their relationship with Amir in their track Dearly Departed off their Ginger album. And if they're allowed to express their distaste for what Amir did in their music, I don't really see anything wrong with Amir expressing any kind of regret, any kind of sorrow, any kind of new mindset in his music. I think a lot of people misunderstand what the idea or point in music is in its entirety, and it is to be something that is therapeutic to the artist. In a lot of ways, the the therapy that you might get from expressing yourself in music, you might not be able to express yourself verbally to someone face to face. You might not be able to express yourself with as much depth, with as much uh, intricacy. You just might not feel as closely connected to whatever it is that you're talking about if it's not within the confines of making music. I, I could understand that. So I would understand why some people may not have felt the authenticity coming from that Twitter apology or Twitter acknowledgement last year. We live in an era where you're supposed to use these things as a means to express yourself. And I think music is the perfect uh, thing for that. I mean, we might not have ever gotten Dearly Departed unless they thought about it in a therapeutic way. So understanding that I have no issue with Amir responding with music to music. I don't want him to hop on a record the entire time saying, I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for that. I would like for him to express some sort of regret, some sort of uh, acknowledgement of it. But at the end of the day, even if he does not, I still wouldn't be too angry or upset with him. Again, you do have to understand that Brockhampton is a group that made many people who felt like they were outsiders feel somewhat accepted, uh, somewhat included, and uh, Amir being uh, an early part of that, they felt as if he was another person that made them feel accepted too. And to do what he did to Brockhampton, they take it personally because it feels like he did it to them. Though I do have to remind them that he, he didn't. And, and you have to understand that at the end of the day, even if he were to express a private apology to Brockhampton specifically and to the people he did this to, you have to be okay with that. If you never get an apology and they still remained okay with him, you have to be okay with that. My only fear continuing in this internet culture and in stand culture and in, um, I guess, a culture where we request certain people atone for, they, for their sins, my only fear is that they don't know when to stop it. They don't know when the crime has been paid for, I guess. At the end of the day, having to start back from square one, 
um, aiding in a group's popularity and then being kicked out. I'm sure he was written out of his contract with RCA as a result of his departure from Brockhampton. So to me, there is a lot that he's paid for, a lot of damage that he has sustained. Not to say that he didn't deserve it, just to say that he has paid dearly for some of these wrongdoings. Even as a massive Brockhampton fan, you have to figure out where the line stops and sure as a person who is a fan of brock hampton you're free to express your opinion over what amir did yes but where does that stop when do you stop getting on twitter stop getting on your forums stop getting on whatever public platform that you might have and calling this man trash at what point do you minimize someone to the only part of them that you know of and and put that out as if that's the entirety of their being again still acknowledging that this person is wrong you can do so without, I guess, stamping them with this forever, especially if they're paying for it. So while, yes, I do hope he makes some sort of uh, acknowledgement of his regret in the music that he's going to put out uh, soon, to request anything more from that as if I am interconnected with the group themselves and I personally feel betrayed, I'm not going to pretend to be because I'm not. My question does go out to the Brockhampton stands, like, what at what point do you just say enough is enough and yeah i don't mess with what the guy did at all and i definitely disagree with it but let's leave him alone now if you check out his music and you don't like what he's putting out then delete it or just never come back to it if you do then hear him out and keep hearing him out until he says something even more poignant one day but if i'm willing to hear the pitfalls of the relationship that amir ended up having with brock hampton then i'm willing to hear his response rebuttal acknowledgement or apology to it in his new music i don't have a problem with that also the timing of his uh, announcement of this new music does seem somewhat organic to me i'm not going to say that you should respect it but it has been about a year and a half since he departed from Brockhampton and released anything solo I, I think it's it's time my thing is not to give people a biased perspective of an artist so at the end of the day if you don't like Amir Van, I, I just don't see the point in publicly expressing your extreme resentment and constant distaste for the man, preventing anyone from looking at the situations themselves and seeing if they would like to have a perspective that isn't blinded by whatever lens that you're wearing. We know what he did was bad, but I would like for unbiased parties to be able to look at his music, look at what he's coming out with, look at what Brock Hampton's doing, and, and, and judge for themselves whether or not they would like to support it. Me personally, I, I understand that I am a music consumer, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to consume music, meaning that I'm going to hear everyone out. That is all I'm going to do. I don't have to choose a side. I don't have to take anyone's perspective on as my own. I'm going to listen. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to hear everyone out. That's what I'm supposed to do. I mean, this is really just like NWA and gangster rap music all over again, where like a bunch of white people were trying to censor rap from coming out because it talked about the crimes that they were committing at the time. <laughs> And they didn't like it, so they were trying to get it out of here. I mean, I, I, to me, I just think it's, it's it's not that far off. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, as Brockhampton fans, like I said, you let me know your perspective on it. I've let you guys know where I stand on it. But I'll see y'all next time. You let me know where you stand on it, and I'll see you. I already said that. Leg day.